What's up, Taurus? How's everybody? I hope well. This is going to be your full moon reading. Um, it does occur on the 27th, but obviously the energy lasts us from the 27th on for a couple weeks. So we're going to see what messages need to come through. Do take what resonates. Make sure you're watching your moon sign reading for that additional clarity because there will be messages for you within your moon sign reading. I'm giving away three free personal readings from now till the end of January. All I need you to do, to do is become a subscriber. Um, so go ahead and hit subscribe and then leave a heart emoji from now until the end of January, a heart emoji in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine from now until then. At the end of each month, I always randomly choose those people and then I will reach out to you through YouTube. So I'll remind everyone who did participate to be checking their the little bell top right hand corner of everyone's YouTube homepage because you will be hearing from me. And then I will announce February's giveaway. All right. What is coming through spirit for my Tauruses with this cold higher level of commitment? Look at this. I really feel like you're burning up those cycles in your life that aren't making you happy anymore. Letting go of those relationships that kind of always resurface in your phone. You know, somebody hitting you up, wanting to know how you're doing. Um, it didn't transpire before. And it's like here and there you hear from certain people and you're like, you know what? I'm going to start fresh. So I really feel for a good bit of you, you're closing out cycles. And you're, you're, you're cutting loose, cutting those ties, letting go of those loose end, and you're starting fresh. There's a brand new level of higher commitment coming towards you. I really feel like you're evolving, and it's almost like a phoenix rising. Growth opportunity, see? By letting go, by glow closing out a cycle that shows the growth within you and look what's coming a warm embrace the love you want is here there is a connection coming in towards you let's see what that connection is I literally had somebody text me the other day. Um, I guess, you know, because I used the dating app before I met my fiance. And the person said, oh, you know, I was just looking and we had such good conversation. Wanting to know if you're available. It's been five years. I have no idea who this person is, you know, because I've obviously gone through my contacts and cleaned up my phone since meeting my fiance. And it's like. I just, I, all the girls at work were like, take a picture of your hand, take a picture of your ring and send it to them. So I did. And the person was, he's like, oh, so, you know, so, so sorry. Congratulations. Wish you the best of luck. But I really feel that's what I mean. Like cutting loose ties, closing cycles, starting fresh and allowing someone to come into your life because you're purging and releasing that's going to be all in. Knight of Cups, they're coming in very passionate for you, very romantic for you. Ace of Wands, a lot of chemistry, mutual attraction there. The Knight of Wands. Taurus, you may have a couple opportunities opening up for you. I've got the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So it's possible you're dealing with someone. Um, you may have a brand new, you know, a relationship in your life and you hear from someone else. Let's see. But I do feel higher level. Of com All right, we'll take them. They wanted to flip over. Let's see. got the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles. See, right there it shows how much you've grown. The Empress is your energy. You are like, you're evolving. You're the best version of yourself. You're feeling very grounded right now. 
you have your own stability, your own support for yourself. You're calling in this blessing because you're taking care of yourself. You seem so attracted to everyone else. The star, the chariot, you are getting a wish fulfillment here. Yes, there is communication coming in. I have the page of swords. So someone could be eyeing you up through social media, like I just explained, because I felt the urge to tell you about that experience. You could be using a dating app. Someone is reaching out. But like I said, you may be on the dating scene, keeping your options open, may be with someone specific. And it's like, I, I see a decision needing to be made here. But there is a higher level of commitment coming in. This person coming towards you, this communication coming in, is going to feel like a wish fulfillment. All right, Spirit, how are you helping Taurus? For some of you, you could, you could be traveling. I mean, we are still within the holiday season, so you could be traveling, you could be planning a trip, and you you come into union with this person. Yes, you are moving forward towards love. Look at that, Six of Swords, Eight of uh, Ace of Cups. And like I said, it feels like a dream come true. This is something that you've been hoping for, waiting on. And it really is because you are the best version of yourself. Let's see what else we can get. The Ace of Cups, twice. Justice, higher level of commitment. Something that's going to be very fair for you, very balanced. Look at this. Judgment. You really have been through an awakening of yourself, through yourself, of yourself. I do. I feel you're out there doing, living your best life, feeling very put together right now. Because of that, you're so attractive from the inside out. You're calling in this warm embrace. And I do feel it is a cosmic gift from the universe. You're letting go of that pain, of those cycles, of those small offers, those small opportunities, not anything that's leading to long term. People that keep resurfacing in your phone, but you have to like, you find yourself thinking back to why nothing transpired the first time. And it's like, you know what? I forgot to delete you. I forgot to block that. Let me get you out of my phone. It's like you're cleaning up a lot of space within your life and you're inviting in this new opportunity. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Taurus? Look at that, the Ten of Swords. Because you're moving on from the pain, the hurtful, the hurtful endings the world. You're closing out these cycles and you're moving forward. You're about to fall in love, Taurus. Yes, you are. It's a warm embrace and it's because of this growth within you. I love it. You are about to fall in love. Like I said, you could be traveling. You could be taking a trip, but you are about to fall in love. And it is a dream come true. We have A, O, E, N, W. Look, now, Q, C, D, 1, now, You are definitely receiving a blessing. This person coming in, this warm embrace that you're about to feel is unconditional love.
This might even be the person that you end up with. If you're looking for marriage, if you're looking for that lifelong partner, this possibly is that person. And it's all because of the growth within you. So go ahead and pat yourself on the back because when you look back, Taurus, you will see right in this moment when you look back how far you've come. And it's because of that and that strength that this person is coming towards you. You deserve this blessing of what's coming in. Complete emotional happiness. But like I said, for some of you, you may have a couple opportunities, people that are interested in you, but you're going to go with your instincts because one is there very genuine and wanting to go the distance with you. There might be some travel between you and this person, like different state, some traveling time, possibly even a different country. All right, Taurus, let me know. Leave that heart emoji down below. For those of you that are interested in personal readings, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. It will be completely stocked the first week of January, but I do have readings that I'm offering right now, and it, it, it does include the forecast for 2024. That also has love within it to see what's coming towards you. All right, so much love and light, guys. Continue on with your, um, your amazing holidays for those of you that celebrate. Right after this reading, I am going to do a winter solstice reading or a spring solstice, depending, or not spring, sorry, summer solstice for the southern hemisphere, obviously winter for us, um, the northern he hemisphere, and we're going to start that. I apologize. I've not been feeling good during the holidays, and um, I do have acid reflux. It's very bad, and I have medicine for it, and I have taken it. But for some reason, it's just causing me to not feel well. And if you heard that within the reading, I do apologize. But I, I do want to get these readings out for you because I do have work tomorrow. So, all right, guys, love and light.